Welcome back, my friends, to another edition of Retro where we bring you only the finest, the most exciting vintage multimeters of days gone by. And other electronics, too. Retro Tech Spotlight, we have a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous multimeter given to me by none other than the resonant Keep On Testing blogger, Paul Taylor. Thank you, Paul, for giving this beautiful wonder to me. The Radio Shack 22-174B. Over 30 years old, first hit the Radio Shack catalog around 1993-94. This beauty has been around for over 30 years. Definitely a true classic in every sense of the word. The body was just a classic multimeter of the 90s, and this one was relatively loaded for the time. So it definitely wasn't a cheap multimeter, but it was a multimeter that was guaranteed to last a long time. And look at that, 30 years later, here it is, as good as new. And this unit even shipped with a very funky temperature probe. Check it out. Oh man. Now, depending on what your needs were, yes, you could check temperature of liquids as well as anything else your little heart might desire with this very weird looking probe. Ouch. Even have the original Teslas as well. They look basically unused. Rated to 1,200 volts. Oh. 1,000 volts DC, 750 volts true RMS AC. This meter was definitely ahead of the time. Nice manual. Basically, it was a little booklet back in the day. And boy, it gave you a lot of info. Of course, the star of the show was this gorgeous meter. Now, it didn't have a rubberized protective boot. No, no, no. But it did have a really nice ergonomic feel to it. And they packed a lot into that facade. Look at that. Not only that, the screen itself, though it didn't have a backlight, still extremely crisp, extremely vibrant, easy on the eyes, and that bar graph is actually usable. Now, truth be told, that selector switch, I have never seen one that is so interesting. It does hit those ranges, but man, it is just so incredibly mm, different. And look at on the meter itself, it even has separate slots for your diodes or your capacitors or your resistors if you want. Diode ohms, capacitance, all there. And HFE as well. Look at that, a little test button for the HFE mode. Oh, that's I want so you to cool. know it 30 years later, hooked up to a high precision current reference, 100 milliamps, coming in at 100.3. Oh, Radio Shack, we love you. Another really cool feature with this is the old school uh, plates both sides positive and negative right here and this is for not only capacitors but resistors as well as diodes so you know because you're cutting out the middleman you don't have any leads involved normally you're going to get a little bit more accurate reading on your component and here we've got a 4.7 microfarad capacitor and look at that coming in at 4.56 microfarads yeah very very nice while we're at it let's try a diode Alrighty, here we go. Positive ends and negative. Of course, we've got to switch it over to diode mode. I just can't get over the selector. It's so quiet, so soft. And it's not on the range. There we go. And there's the forward voltage drop of the diode, 0.526 of a volt. Oh, so cool. So yeah, you know, even today, I gotta say, I still can appreciate having those uh, embedded slots like that for small component testing. Nice. Another cool feature with this meter is, look, we're changing that selector and there's no noise. But if for some reason you want to hear that beep, look at that, we have a beep button. Now, look at that, it's a loud beep. So very cool option to turn the audible sound on or off. Boy, something that's a little weird is, look at all those double A batteries, a total of six batteries power this bad boy uh they didn't use a nine volt for some reason no we have <laughs> six individual double a batteries so it takes a lot of uh 
batteries, doesn't it? We have easy fuse access here, milliamp as well as the high current 10 amp fuse. Easy to pull and I just hit the beeper and let's just take this off, shall we? And oh, look at that. Beautiful. On the inside of this gorgeous meter, look at that. Look at those input jacks. Oh man, those are awesome. I mean, completely embedded in the PCB, hard soldered all around. And look at that clean, clean soldering. Wow, stellar, stellar. Something I noticed as well, look at the fab date on that PCB. 1992 Tandy Corporation. So even older than I originally thought. So 1992 PCB, wow. There's the main Radio Shack IC covertly under the selector switch, TCR6022. Nice, very nice. Look at those push buttons here, all embedded into that PCB. Once again, really clean, really, really nice. Even the jumpers, I mean, everything is done to perfection. Wow. Little flux residue over there, but all in all, quite a beauty. Okay, let's flip it on the other side, shall we? Oh, oh, almost forgot, look at that display. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, nice attention to detail. Okay, to the old flipperoo, and look at that. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah, I'm telling you. Radio Shack knew how to build a meter back in the day. Super clean, we've got that X epoxy resin there holding some of those wires together so they don't flop around but all in all i mean you consider how old this meter is like 35 almost 35 years old in freaking credible good job now you can see that little hole in the back uh, paul who gifted me the meter said uh, he had drilled that hole to accentuate the speaker the piezo um, it was sort of buffered or blocked from that thick plastic casing. So he drilled a small hole and bada boom, bada bing, instant loudness. Great job. Now, Paul said I'd be shocked by the loudness of the continuity in this Radio Shack meter. Well, you know what? Here we go. I've got it actually attached to the Pro Masters. They fit perfectly on the meter. This is going to be really interesting. Holy moly cannoli. It is a loud, piercing beep. Oh, wow. Almost 85 decibels. That, my friends, is loud. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my dog. Wow, that was a fun trip down retro lane. This Radio Shack meter, it's got tons to explore. I only hit the surface. This thing is loaded. Hey, if you can find one on eBay or one of these other e-tailers, by all means, grab it. Still works amazingly even today. And heck, you know what? It's probably better than some of the meters out there. They're brand new. Thanks for taking this trip down vintage memory lane. You, me, and the Radio Shack 22-174B.